Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into XRP once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. So you can see right now, uh, way back since 2019, 2018. I do apologise. I remember all of this. This was March 2017. Yeah, I'm right because I remember all this explosion for XRP. Then we had a drawback when it, um, Bitcoin absolutely exploded, and then as Bitcoin sort of cooled down and relaxed and came back down, that's when we got that huge explosion, that sort of last double top scenario here for XRP before we continued to roll and came back down to where we came from basically because it's what happens like i said to you buy big green candles get big red dildos and we've had this multi-year bear market right now you know against bitcoin uh, because this is the xrp versus bitcoin chart right now okay i don't want to confuse you but just here we, we're sort of coiling up towards this apex aren't we so some kind of reaction and some kind of break is going to happen relatively soon for xrp versus bitcoin now xrp is pretty strong against usdt as well we're going to show that against the dollar so it's holding its ground it's doing relatively well and right here i do think that you're sort of coiling up right now now what you've done here if you take a look since you entered this bear market just there where you topped out double top scenario okay then you came down coming down constant resistance to this trend line right now you know you you up it again in in an apex right here so some kind of break is going to give hold it back test boom explosion just like this look coming down oh shit's going to zero then you break out for xrp so watch this space anything can happen but right now what i think is happening here for xrp is if we drop a trend line here on this support look you see this support this was support in 2020 november and this is when you got the breakout of the air spot token drop i think it was and then look we rallied into resistance and then we capitulated with the sec case coming out and obviously the the spark air token drop and you can see what happened here you came down with this capitulation okay but when you came back up you ran into the resistance of that previous support that you lost and look it's support over there as well so with that you created this beautiful w bottom pan reversal pan and with that you came up you ran into the technical target i don't even need to drop it in because you can see the technical target was met i'll show you the technical target from there to there and you can see that if i drop that there boom look that's where you wicked up to technical target met beautiful but with that you start to come back and you found this previous resistance as support so this is pretty tasty okay this is pretty good so yeah i mean xrp right now this is a massive level of support because what you've done is you've come up you've broken out and you've fallen back to it multiple times as support so you're holding it as support so this is really good you do not want to see this support loss because if you start to see xrp come down below that then you know you're rolling and you're going to come back down and retest these lows and it's quite negative uh because you know you just got no support there look this is support support and that's where you're sitting right now and you're coiling up and towards the apex of a huge horizontal now it would be lovely to get the breakout and continue that would be amazing because at that point like i said to you you're going to start to retrace these levels of resistance and potentially melt through them in some kind of big big parabolic move like this for xrp which we all want obviously okay but the alternative is that we're going to come down we're going to lose this support and start hitting our head if we do then these would be my support targets because you can see there's nothing there. there's no support okay so this would be a key level of support and that would be your last level of support you start to fall through that that's really negative for xrp okay against bitcoin it's not good but i don't necessarily envision that but again you know we, we trade on confirmation don't we so right now you've got the w double bottom pattern you ran into resistance technical target mate and you're coiling up okay so right now this potentially does look like some kind of little bull flag for xrp on the weekly so if you start to break out here and hold and back test you're gonna have some beautiful retracement to these eyes okay so with xrp if you start to see it lose that then you're looking at a really really big correction uh, and i think you know you're sort of free fall down you've got that level there which is 52 percent correction and then you've got that low there which is 60 percent correction as well but don't forget this this correction here it was fueled by the sec coming out you know with the court case against xrp so you know i think xrp is one of the strongest coins in the market at the moment to be honest with you you know given that it's got it over its case as well over its head sorry it is still sort of sitting strong in that top 10 like i've told you so many times it's sort of in its own little league isn't it it's sort of going up and down and crabbing basically it's consolidating in a range so let's take a look against bitcoin it's looking pretty tasty for a breakout relatively soon at latest like i said april uh mid-april uh let's take a look at the usd chart okay so looking at XRP on the weekly time frame, then you can see we are under the resistance of the EMAs at the moment. So this is not a good thing. We do need to see a breakout above, holding back test of support, and we'll start to tackle that level of resistance again. And it's really important that we close above that because that for me is confirming a breakout. And like I said to you, if you start to roll and you close outside of this, this is really negative. What's positive here? You've got a low and a higher low. And hopefully right now we're coiling up and we're looking for that breakout, coupled with the fact that, you know, the chart looking at XRP versus Bitcoin as well is quite bullish. 
bullish and um, calling up for some kind of price compression basically that's how it all works you, you get price compression it tights 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 in the range and then it reacts in either direction and we trade that that's what we do so right now we are under the EMAs we have got the 20 coming down and the 55 look at this right now as we're getting a squeeze on the go now this candle here that we put in last week that's quite a bullish candle it's called an inverse hammer basically you're coming down a trend and this is a trend reversal uh, candle at the minute you know it's not looking like it's coming to fruition so far but there's a long way to go in this week if we can get that confirmation this way start to come back up get back above these emas and start to break out here for xrp okay so that's what we need to see uh, on the eight hourly time frame we was looking at this particular pattern wasn't we and it was a killer resistance and like i said to you i do think that what xrp is doing here is running to this resistance of this trend line and i do think that once you break out you're going to confirm a retracement to that high so wherever it starts to break out you know wherever here or wherever really close to the apex again like i said to you getting that price compression if you do start to break out you know you've got a lovely little long op to retrace around about 25 percent but there is a bit of a negative pattern just there that's forming you can see it okay you've got that left shoulder that head and i think you've rallied into this resistance and you're forming the right shoulder of a potential big head and shoulders pattern just there and if you start to come down this is where i do think you'll find support okay put some cheeky bids on this level here come to your charts and draw this line because like i said to you you're sort of coiling up here inside of this horizontal and people are going to get really fearful but if you can come down here with a nice little stop loss down there that would be my stop loss this low put some longs in down there on buy a bit don't over leverage don't be greedy because once you start to come back up and hold on back test boom you're confirming a break out here for xrp you know and if you get stopped out you get stopped out it's it's small risk for high reward basically and i teach you everything in the space i can so right now you know xrp it is coiling up here again you've got this kind of little descending triangle head and shoulders pattern level of resistance to support you're coiling up you're going to get some kind of reaction and obviously if it starts to come down beautiful if you start to break out here fall and back test boom there's your long position there okay that's basically xrp hope you enjoyed that little update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned thank you for your support bye bye